thinking of holding a dinner party. We're going to invite a number of friends with us, archaeologists, present and not so present, um, and a group of people that would make an interesting conversation around the Christmas table, for instance. Who would you like to invite from the past? I'd have to invite the father of archaeology. I don't mean Tim Taylor, uh, Augustus Pitt Rivers, the guy who in the 1880s, was it, suddenly decided we need to write this stuff down, we need to measure it. I would want Catherine Kenyon, the great archaeologist who discovered that Jericho was probably the oldest big settlement in the whole of human history. Uh, I'm a big fave of Jaquetta Hawkes, who I remember in the 1950s when I was a little boy explaining archaeology to me. Glyn Daniel, who wrote the first puffin book of archaeology that I ever bought. And Mortimer Wheeler, of course. I would like to invite Alice Roberts, because I haven't seen her for ages, and I'm so proud of the career that she's had and the way that she has received the baton of the translation of archaeology into popular language. I would um, like to make a case, if I can, no. for a Greek archaeologist. Um, I love the idea that we might have a Greek archaeologist involved in some ways. Um, not only are they often very good fun, but they've been involved in archaeology like it's part of their heart. And the gentleman I'm thinking of is Dr. Professor Sakela Rakis, who dug one of the most important caves on Crete and arrived there from an intuition that the name of the place meant an ancient cave. And I love the, 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 the froth of the European imagination coming in from Greece to our party. And you have one more guest to invite. Schliemann, what were you doing messing around with Troy? Why didn't you dig it properly? <laughs> I love the fact that not only did he dig the stuff off, but he got his Greek girlfriend along and put the gold stuff on her yeah, to yeah. see what it looked like. Yeah. Um, she suddenly became Clytemnestra. <laughs> and do you remember his famous line? Go on. I have gazed upon the face of Agamemnon, oh, yeah. the wonderful gold mass from Mycenae. I imagine he would be quite eccentric, but uh, yes. Now, I'm also going to ask you this. Our dear old togs, we call them togs, Time Team Originals. I suppose you're a tog as well. You are going to buy some presents for them for Christmas this year. Um, we'll start John, Carenza, Stuart, any order you like. What sort of present do you think you might like to get some of these guys? I would like to get John a decent beard trimmer. Have you noticed how every woman archaeologist looks interesting, respectable, often beautiful, well into old age, but male archaeologists round about the age of 50 go to seed. Their eyebrows become a foot long. Their beards are practically down to their knees. John is going through that at the moment. T to me, John, who I love dearly, is like a stand-in Father Christmas. Shave your beard, make it look nice. And for Helen, what would you give Helen as a, as a gift? A couple of weeks ago, I had the privilege of spending a few hours with Greta Turnberg who turned out to be one of the charmingest, most sweet, most interesting, certainly most dedicated and bright young women I've ever met. She gets slagged off sometimes. It really annoys me because whether you agree with her or not, she is quite remarkable. Now, Helen, I know, is probably the greenest of all the togs. I would like to buy her Greta's new book, The Climate Book, which is perfect for her. Now, we're getting into trickier territory now. Stuart. I don't think Stuart is difficult. I, would, I, I love him and I love his wife. I would buy them business class tickets out to Belize and a guide so that they could see all the Mayan ancient ruins. There's so much out there that hasn't been properly observed, recorded, or dug yet. It's just very difficult territory. And Stuart's the lad. It would be great for Belize, and it would be great for Stuart. 
I always remember Tony back in Nevis where we were going through the undergrowth of, of the site and uh, Stuart was determined to find a slave village. That's what, what the locals knew was somewhere out there. And he disappeared. Uh, you know, I wouldn't describe him as a typical Indiana Jones type, but he went through poisonous bushes. He had bites all over his legs. And ultimately, at the end of the day, he found in this area where formerly the slaves had lived, tiny little bits of pottery that they'd used to play games with. And it was a, a triumph of determined activity, really. The other thing I remember about that Nevis jungle was that there was a guy with us, a local guy, who was so fit. He got magnificent body, bare to the waist, a huge machete. He really looked after us, and I got quite friendly with him. And I said to him, have you ever left Nevis? And he said, uh, uh, yeah, I used to live in Birmingham. I, I, I used to play a character on EastEnders. <laughs> and I went to school with him. Did you? He went to Mosley Grammar School. Yes, him and, and his brother. And he'd gone back home to Nevis, and now he was hacking his way through the jungle. What a great life. Now, Carenza. Um, one of the joys, really, of, of getting the togs back together again is to re-meet these people who yeah. we spent so much time with. And it's been a joy to have Carenza coming back and working with us again. Whenever I'm talking to Carenza, I see her in Edwardian costume. She is like one of those uh, witty, ironic characters from uh, Downton Abbey. Um, I would like for Christmas to buy Carenza an Edwardian costume, perfect in every detail, except there's something very funky about uh, Carenza, so I would like it designed by Vivian Westwood. <laughs> But yes, that, 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 that would be good. Merry Christmas, Time Team fans. Happy New Year, Time Team fans. Thanks so much for all your support. And please look forward with us to some really exciting developments in 2023. Join Time Team on Patreon to access exclusive 3D models, masterclasses, and behind-the-scenes insights. 